Hello all my internet crafty friends. <laughs> Today has been crazy windy. I mean trees are falling over. Um, there was a trailer like knocked over on its side like a fifth wheel trailer today and just really dangerous out on the road. We have, we have a towing company and um, we have one of our drivers still out trying to get back because so many fallen trees on 101 and yeah they're cleaning up the mess. <laughs> so yeah I was gonna go out and work in my studio tonight but my husband's at the church and I'm a little iffy of wanting to walk out there by myself. <laughs> And I'm babysitting my daughter's dog who's squeaking the toy in the background. Um, so anyway, what I did today, did, did tonight, instead of going out there, I printed some things to work on my um, Valentine's project um, that I posted a couple days ago. So I gathered um, some digitals off of my computer today. I went through all my digitals. Um, but I did just buy this kit from Line.Arrow. It is um, only a euro, um, so a little more than a dollar I paid for it. There's six pages, and it's called a New Year's Junk Journal Kit. So here's some of the pages. Just beautiful. They, they printed just beautiful. I have them printed, uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of an off-white creamy stationery very expensive paper but I got it at Goodwill so it prints just beautiful I love it so I might be using some of this and these florals in my Valentine journals some tags a couple tags a couple pages of tags um, so those I printed out those and I went through some of our other digitals I have, and this is like from the heart, I think it's called. I think it goes this way though. <laughs> Beautiful paper there, and there's a matching envelope that I may use. And then I printed a bunch of um, my porch prints. I did these last year. They're called uh, stuffed pockets, and I only printed part of the stuff because I didn't want to use all of it, but very Valentine-y, my porch prints, see right there. <laughs> and here's the tags that go, so these go on top of these, and then you decorate it with, I didn't print all the pages, but there's one, I shrunk them too, because I'm working with Valentine cards, which are smaller than what my normal journals are, so, and then that goes on that. And um, she had a couple more things. So this is a like a purple one. It's like a little um, card you fold in half and then you put the tag, uh, the pocket inside and the tag on the side. So yeah, that was cool. And I like these, so I might put those. And um, this, some butterflies. I put some butterflies because I got the pinks there. And then I had some from Janie B. Journals. I printed some, I don't know the, the name of this one, but it's the, it's got birds and blues, so I, I shrunk it down a little bit. So I have the smaller pockets here and the cards. I got some tags here. Beautiful roses and birds in this, um, and then a piece of paper. Um, that'll be a page, probably. And then um, Maggie Red Designs, I had these little cute things. So you cut them out and you stack them. So you stack like one of these, one of those, and one of these, and you make a few. There. There you go. And uh, she had a whole page of letters and numbers. I just printed the numbers page because I wanted these blank ones. So that, and then 
Um, my freebies I, I printed out. I printed these before I put the pink backing on them. So these are on that cream paper. And then here is that. And you can get these at my coffee um, page. I will put a link in the description below. Just scriptures that I um, made up that I might use in my thing and um, in my project. And a thank you for those of you who have subscribed to my channel um, and helped me get to 100. So, yeah, it's free for everyone, though. So you can head all over there and get those if you like. Um, and this, I think, is from uh, Rachel... Rachel Bella Crafts, so one of their kits, this envelope here that has uh, okay, flowers. So I'm going to make one of those envelopes. And that's all I printed. I got a lot to work with, um, but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. So I will add this to my next video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a blessed day. Hello, I'm back, and I have all the stuff cut all the stuff cut out of all the papers. And I'm going to be working on this one here today. I'm going to show you how to bind it. Um, so I got my needle right here and I got three times the length of my card. I'm going to pull off a couple of these little things to hold it. I'm going to go in the middle here. And catch that heart. Okay. We're going to do the three hole um, pamphlet stitch. Okay. We're going to hold our papers. I'm going to thread our needle. And I'm not going to pre-poke pre these because um, well, maybe I will. <laughs> we'll see. I don't have a very sharp needle, so I better get my little pokey tool. Pokey tool. Right there. Okay. So I'm just going to eyeball this. Got my needle. Got my thread. I'm going to go... Right about there. And there's one. And then we'll do another one up here. And one down here. I want to get it right in this hole here. Okay, there we go. So I have one here, one here, and one here. I'm going to take my thread and go outside. And take this and hold my thread so it doesn't get out, come out while I'm sewing the rest of it. We're going to go in this hole up here. Where is it? <laughs> I can't even see it. There it is. Right there. Pull that through. I'm using all six strands of this thread. Go through there and then back through the middle. sure that you're not catching anything. So I have a string on either side. I'm going to pull it taut and I'm going to tie a double knot like that and then tie this in a bow. And it will snip the excess off of this, just like that, and it 
is bound together. There we go. I will do another one um, just to show you as well again. So everything is in there nice and neat. You want to make sure all your papers were put in there correctly before you sew it, of course. <laughs> I had already checked mine, but there we go. And that looks lovely. Shall we do one more just to show you? Let's pick out something that has a light colored border. I think this one. This one is good. So we're going to check our papers. This is what I'm gluing on here. This is going to be a pocket here on this one with a little card to tuck in it. So I'm going to take that out. And this one has some collage paper, um, coffee dyed papers, and oh, it's missing its heart. don't know what happened to him. All right, we'll just get a new one. <laughs> I got a whole stack of them here from the Goodwill. Okay, we'll just fold that. That's why we check. Make sure we got everything we need. And this Put all those together. Okay. Let's clip that, clip that, clip that. Okay. Once again, um, so I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay. We are going to stick it right here in the middle and then right up here in the top. I closed the book on it so that it gets right in the crease there and then right about right here it's about an inch and a half from the bottom. There we go. And let's see, I need some more thread. I'm going to measure one, two, three times. Thread our needle. missed one. Make sure you get all six strands in there if that's what you're using and that's what I'm going to use. I'm using all six strands. Okay so my little doily is loose so I'm going to stick that through the middle and then through the middle here. I'm going to pull that back and I'm going to fasten this string under there. Okay. And then we're going to pull that. I'm going to go through this top hole, which is right here. Going to pull that through. Then we're going to go right through the bottom. And then back through the middle. Right here. Make sure we're on the other side of that line. I'm going to pull this through, take the needle off. Okay, we're going to pull this tight. Not super tight, don't want your, your pages to bow. We're going to double knot that. And then we're going to tie it in a bow.
how you want it and then just trim it like that and there we have it there's book number two all the pages are in there nicely and a little heart doily okay all right let's move on now i wanted to put this in here but i need to ink it first so um the inks i'm going to be using today are ground espresso black soot and victorian velvet so if you see me using the inks you'll know it's one of those right now i'm using the ground espresso because this is brown around the edges and i just want to take off the um, white edge and I'm also going to do the inside of here just in case it shows through or it's not exactly on there straight because I've been known to do that. <laughs> okay. So just kind of go around the edges. Kind of makes it look a little, you know, antique-ish here. It just doesn't have to be real straight like that. Then I'm going to glue this on like that, the three sides. So I'm gonna sew it on this side. So I am going. I mean, we're gonna sew it. We're gonna glue it on these three sides here. Um, I'm just thinking. Do I need to make this paper stronger? I think I might do that. I might, uh, let's glue it down on some paper. Let me grab a piece of paper. Just a scrap here. Where's my scrap? Let's see Here's a piece of paper. Just to make it a little thicker, we're going to glue this on here. Not with that glue. That one's all gone. <laughs> Take a glue stick. Yep. And I got this handy dandy little messy, <laughs> little messy one. Um, cutting board. Small cutting board. Oh, there's not much. Ah, glue in this one either. Okay. Well, I think I'll have to put some of this on here. So we're going to be using three and one, three and one glue. And I just glued the wrong side because I put this down on the paper. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't glue the wrong side. I'm gluing the whole thing because <laughs> I'm going to put it down on that other piece of paper. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Get it together, Lori. Figure out what you're going to do here. All right. So now I'll have to ink that again, too. So I'm uh, out of glue. Need to go get some new glue. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this out. Okay. So yeah, 
I'm so glad the winds have calmed down because yesterday was frightful. <laughs> and that song, The Weather Outside, is frightful. <laughs> yeah, that's how it was yesterday. It was pretty scary for some people. Um, yeah. That um, fifth wheel I was talking to you about was a tourist from Florida. And they said, oh yeah, we're used to hurricanes, but this was something else. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so there you have it. Somebody from Florida that's used to hurricanes said the winds were something else and it flipped their fifth wheel over. That's how strong it was. So, so glad that's over with. All right, so that's gonna fit in right there. Now, I'm gonna hold on to this side because I do not wanna glue this side. And we're gonna put some glue along this edge here. It was kind of volcanoing because I didn't put the lid on. But I have to remember to do that. I mean, I've heard other people say they they forget to. And they're like, oh, I must be doing something wrong. Yeah, we're not putting the lid on. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this right in here. As close as I can get it. A little bit of white there because I wanted it to go pretty close to the edge over there. All right, so that's in there, and now it's a nice little pocket, nice strong pocket. We'll let all that dry before we try sticking something in it. Okay, oh, got a little bit of glue right there. Okay, so that's done.